Yo, what's going on, YouTube? And welcome back to Goal Line Hockey. It's your boy, Kevin Forte. Guys, we're taking a look today at a couple of signings we're already starting to hear about here ahead of the free agency period. And we'll be taking a look at some of those guys in today's video. So, we're going to start things off up in EDM, in Edmonton. As the Edmonton Oilers have two guys that they already seem to have locked up. Now, obviously, they've lost Adam Larson. So, that's created a little bit more of a... Um, we kind of need Tyson Barry back. You can't lose Adam Larson and Tyson Barry this summer, especially with the fact that you're not going to see Oscar Clefbaum next season. Potentially, never see Oscar Clefbaum in the orange and blue again. So there is just a lot of pressure now to get Tyson Barry signed. Tyson Barry wants a three-year deal. Edmonton wants a four-year deal. Somebody's going to have to budge somewhere if this is going to work. But we'll see what happens there. So expect an AAV somewhere between four to five and a half. Once again for Tyson Barry. But again, on the open market, he's going to get that three years if he really wants it. Moving on, Zach Hyman, it seems like, is going to the Edmonton Oilers. He went up to Edmonton last uh, earlier this week to talk to the management. And it seems like they've agreed to a deal. It looks like they have an eight-year deal at $5.5 million per season. Now, you may be saying to yourself, Kevin, Zach Hyman is not a member of the Edmonton Oilers, so they can't give him that eighth year on his contract, and you would be right. But there are talks that hopefully over the next couple of days, Ken Holland will be reaching out to Dubas to wonder, hey, you know what, we want that eighth year on Zach Hyman. Uh, you know, what do you want? You know, give us a sixth, a seventh, whatever that is, and we'll take Zach Hyman, okay? That's kind of what you're looking at here. So, um... Yeah, so expect Zach Hyman to be a member of the Oilers. Uh, I think this is an interesting move. It's not a bad move, uh, but there's definitely been some weird stuff going on in Edmonton over the last couple of weeks. No buyout of Miko Koskinen yet or James Neal. Uh, they lose Adam Larson, who it looked like he was set even at the trade deadline to be signed by the Oilers. And now he ends up in Seattle. And now you have to figure out something with Tyson Barry. And now you bring in Zach Hyman, who is he or is he not a good fit there? And to top it all off, they sign Mike Smith to a two-year, $4.4 million contract to stay in Edmonton. He signs at $2.2 million AAV. Not a bad contract, but again, he's going to be 40 at the end of this contract. So you could assume this is his last kick at the can the next two years. Why is there two years on this deal? Because to me, that sounds like the Oilers don't know what they're doing with their goaltending. There's no way they're going to keep Miko Koskinen and... Uh, and Mike Smith going into the playoffs next year, if they even get that far. This is a little bit concerning, but again, we'll see what happens. Now, moving on, we're going to take a look at the New York Islanders, who have been talking about Ryan Suter and Zach Parise coming together as a package to the island. Now, obviously, the connections are there. Ryan Suter, who was his coach in Nashville? Hmm, oh yeah. Barry Trotz, yes. So he has the connection to Barry Trotz and Zach Parise. That sounds familiar. Oh yeah. He was also with the New Jersey Devils, who drafted him. Oh yeah, Lou Lamorello. Right. So there's connections here for Lou, for uh, Ryan Suter and Zach Parise to both go to the island. And again, this is a situation where the Islanders have the cap space, and considering they just went to the Stanley Cup Conference Finals the last two years, you could argue that the Islanders are a pretty legitimate team. And Minnesota, and these two guys won't be doing this for the money. They're getting their buyout money from Bill Guerin and the ownership in Minnesota. So they're doing this purely to try and win a Stanley Cup. The pedigrees there, they may end up on the Islanders. We've also heard about uh, some little things here and there. Uh, obviously, Seattle re uh, signing guys like Jamie Alexiak and Adam Larson. Four-year deal at $16 million for Adam Larson. That's $4 million per season. That's a fair contract. Again, He's one of those guys where he's going to be a good foundational piece for the Seattle Kraken. Jamie Alexiak coming in at 4.25 per season for the next six years. I do have my concerns about that deal. Not only the AAV, but because of the term, this is one that's likely going to get bought out in the next couple of years. But again, at 6'7", 225 pounds, he's pretty much a line, an offensive lineman uh, playing on skates the you know, the heaviest guy in the NHL, which the NHL made that quite clear. It was a little bit awkward there for Alexiak, but it's all muscle, right? So, uh, anyway, whatever with that. Um, 
yeah, so we'll see what happens here. Um, honestly, we've had a lot of interesting news I'll be talking about here later today, so stay tuned. Uh, the Detroit Red Wings, uh, the latest with the Habs, we'll be going over those two videos later today. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you guys like what we're doing here at Gold Line Hockey and want to see the latest news around the NHL and more videos just like this one, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and an even bigger subscribe down below. Guys, as always, thank you so much for watching this video, and I will see you guys next time.